This is one of the lighter or smaller drones that we use to collect imagery. We collect, we can do some mapping with this. So the drone like this, the one that we're with now is, would mostly be used to gather situational awareness and to gather intel on a fire line. There's room in wildland fire for both crewed and uncrewed aviation. Vital vital missions for both. What's been fantastic with this drone is in times where crude aviation can't fly, like when it's really smoky, really foggy, the conditions just aren't favorable for crude aviation to fly, we can still fly these because of that infrared camera that can give us visibility to keep the drone out of danger and still provide some really amazing products. Also pretty neat to be able to do it, you know, when we're doing prescribed fire, we can do some data collection pre-burn and then immediately post burn, and then we can monitor, you know, months and years down the road to see how things have changed in the environment for pretty relatively inexpensive. Everything works around data. Like the less you have to guess or use your intuitiveness um, compared to actually hard data of what you have out there will help you to more efficiently order resources, get resources to where they need to be so they can work efficiently and then move on to the next task. It's not okay to fly drones around a wildfire if you don't have permission or if you're not part of the firefighting agency because those drones come into conflict with firefighting aircraft. One of the most important things to take away from from anything we talk about today is if there's a wildfire around you that is not a time to fly your drone at all because it puts a lot of the other aerial resources at risk if they collide with with the drone that you're flying even if you want to get those photos.